yeah so hello very warm welcome to the we are show the show which talks about all the various major football leagues detail today we are going to continue the theme of interviews and we have mr douglas silva with us who has played for the likes of santos is bengal mohan bagan among the for the teams so without wasting much time i'd like to first thank douglas for coming on the show thank you and welcome to the show and i would like to begin by asking you how are you and what are you doing these days yeah good evening everyone thank you for the invitation so let's enjoy the time that we have today definitely so you know like what what have you been doing you know like during this past when there was lockdown all over the world see uh two months back i was in kolkata no mm. was yeah last year i have joined one club in india trow Yeah, uh, I have worked with them for thirty days only. After that, I went back to Kolkata. Mm. But I was looking for another club to work to continue the, my 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 life. So after that, the pandemic has started. So afterward, the, all the airport has been closed. So I was there, no. Yeah. So I, almost seven to eight months I was in Kolkata. I have spent all the time in Kolkata. So I was at inside home, in my apartment. Yeah. So that is the way. I... When the all the airport uh, has been open, then I came back to Brazil. And uh, I reached here two months, two months, five to two months back. But most of the time I was in India, in Kolkata. definitely and you like like you said you were in kolkata like bit just before like two months back like you said and uh, you first came to india i think in 2000 early 2000 2002 when you joined east bengal 2002 yeah 2002 I joined east bengal 2002 so how did that happen how did you come to india in the first place it is because of one of my friends who played with me uh, 1994 92 90 1991 to 1994, we played together in one club here in São Paulo. After that, he left just Brazil to play in China, and he got some contacts in India. So after that, 2002, we met here in São Paulo because I'm I belong from São Paulo, and uh, I told him, I'm right now I'm free. So what are you doing? Uh, are you still playing? Yes, I'm still playing. But I have one friend of mine who asked for one stopper. But I, I then I told him where. He told me he's in India. But India, the years in India. Well, okay, let's see. Let's see what is the offer they have. They 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 will give to you. We can discuss about. It. And uh, at the same time, I got one offer to play in Slovenia. But. So when they, they they took some time to get back to me for the demands that I have uh, told them, and this guy they they make the deal the deal with this Bengal club. That then I I joined them. This is one of my friends. He he make everything. He manage everything to. Definitely. And I have spent lots of. Many more times with them. Yeah. So you like you come from uh, you were coming from Brazil, no? Like when you came to India first, and in Brazil football has a long history. But in India it was quite it's quite uh, except maybe Calcutta. In other places it's not like as uh, people are not crazy as maybe in Brazil. Like people maybe like cricket or a little bit more famous in India compared to maybe in. Bra- other other sports in india so how was football in india like when you came what was the impression see it was very very difficult for me because uh, i spent most of the the time in brazil in my career playing premier league clubs and top clubs no before to end i played 17 clubs in brazil 10 to 15 clubs of them it was premier league clubs So uh, of course everyone knows the story. I have got I got a shock, no, because there is no facility at all. There is no structure or anything. 
there is only football balls and players. So uh, I can start telling you about the, the coaching staff. Uh, I usually used to work in Brazil with five to ten people only for the coaching staff. When I joined East Bengal, there is only one person. It was the coach. The coach was the coach. The coach was physical trainer. The coach was doctor. The coach. Every whenever I work in situations like that, and uh, of course, see uh, if you if you go to any country, if you go to different place like you, if you know if you not adjust yourself in the place that you go. It is will be impossible for you to work. You have to close your eyes for the tough situation and work. That is what I have done. I knew it was very dif different from Brazil to India. I knew that the, the big difference between to Brazil about the facilities, about the players' quality, about the players physically also. Because I, uh, when I joined, I, when I joined to East Bengal, I thought I, I was in one junior team. <laughs> because the play was so weak, the play was very short. No, but anyway, I, uh, I have kept it one thing in my mind. If I have come here to work, I have to close my eyes. I have to work hard. If I want to make this successful here in this country, I have to work hard. That is what I have done. They used to work only in the morning. They used to practice only in the morning. I used to practice two times morning, evening. In Brazil, we used to practice two times morning and evening. In India, it was only early morning, seven o'clock morning. Here, we start practice around nine. In India, it was sometimes 6.30 to 7. Some player has to go to something like that. But Day by day, I was enjoying with them, the, the people of his love, you know, and uh, then I start playing. Uh, it was very tough for me because it, uh, I took more than an uh, official match because my HC did not come in the time. I was had to play quickly because only practice and practice, practice, practice. But after I start, when I start playing in Kolkata League, then uh, it has become a little bit easy for me. Of course, at the time, you know, uh, about house, about food, I have got some problems, you know, in the in the beginning. But afterwards, all things. I have settled or everything. Then all uh, all the, the the situation has gone. So the so bad situation. Eh? Of course, and you like you said like how even like uh, the, that you had an offer from Slovenia when you before you could before you came to India like that time. Did you think when you first came to India and you saw the situation you wanted to go back to Brazil? Yes, yes, yes. In the first day when I came to India. And, uh, the when I uh, they sent me to one flat, you no, know, there is a that that there was a the, the all the food was full of coated of water because it was very heavy raining, and I spoke with one of my friend Barreto. Hopefully, everyone knows him. Then Barreto, please, yeah, because that time I could not speak English. No, one word I could speak. Then I told him, please tell them I want to go back by tomorrow because. I don't. I did not like the place, the place that they put me to. And uh, he said. Then he told me, "Please, you keep calm, wait for one week. I'm I'm here to help you." And uh, but the situation between Slovenia and India, you know, uh, I some you know, at that time, I have some member of my family, so they used to learn a lot about India. So and uh, it was the plan of them to to go to India one. Time. So we uh, I used to grow up with my family people talking about India. You know this is something by God. You no, know, 
people always talk about India, people always uh, study India. We had, we had lots of books about India. And I, I, I have kept that in my mind, that name, India, India. Then I, I grew up with that name in my mind. Then when I become a footballer, I got the offer from Slovenia, but they told me to wait for two, three more weeks. And uh, then the offer from India, they accepted my, 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 all the demands that I asked for. So I told them, I told my family, okay, I'm going to India. Then the people, everyone was so happy. Oh, you are, are you going to India? Then people are talking about the place that I used to go because Kolkata, no, Kolkata is very famous, no? Kolkata, because of Mother Teresa, no? And they said, okay, fine. I, I will not wait anymore for the offer from Slovenia. Let me go into India. That's why I decided to go to India. Even the offer from Slovenia, it was 20,000. The, the salary would be 20,000 more. Because that time you could, you could compare the salary of India and Slovenia. So it's in Europe. So the money was big difference between India and Slovenia. But I decided to go to India. I, and uh, I think I have done the best decision of my life. Definitely. And, uh, you know, like, like you said, like you were with, uh, in, in, in India, like with a team till last, uh, I think like two months back, like you said, like, because uh, you're coaching them uh, in various capacities and you're know, like, how is football, how is football now in India compared to when you came early? Yeah, it's totally different now. This is totally, totally different. But mentality of those who run football in India, 70% are still the same as before. The, some clubs in India, they are the, the same people that they used to be before. They are still there. But they are not in, improved. The, 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 uh, how can I say it? Uh, the mentality on that is still thinking as before, you know. That's why the Indian football they grew up very slowly, you know. This is what, what kind of sports every day there is new things come out, you no. Know? And if you not learn, if you not study about football, if you not follow football every day, you pass and. There is lots of big clubs, big investors, but the people are mentality was very poor. That that means not poor like uh, I'm not talking like a, uh, about life, but we are talking about football. Even to run a club, you need to to study. If you want to be uh, like uh, one official, you have to go to the university. You have to be graduated to, to be like a sports management. If you want to be a CEO, you, it is a big post in one football club. A, in, in, still there is in India, uh, the guy who was a driver, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, he was a driver of one official. Now he's a CEO of one club. He, you can't believe that is still happening in India. If you are a friend of one official, you can be official. Uh, so you have money. If you if you give some money to the club, you can be with them. Football is not like this. Football, you have to put some people who understand about the sports. Not those who can give money to the club or those who can... Even those people who can give a sponsor to the club. In India, there is a still the problem. If you give, I will be very frank with the, I have seen this problem in the couple of months. If you have a good money, if you want to be a fish of one, any club in India, if you want to be the sponsor of them, they give you a good post. Football is not like this. They are still thinking about trophy. 
they thinking about they are still thinking about trophy they don't think about the youth development the youth of maybe zero people can see okay india has played the world cup and that they played the world cup because they cup was in india otherwise it will be very tough for india the youth development in india is very very poor that's why no you see, you still can see in india clubs work without physical trainer without goalkeeper coaches without physio because physio and physical trainer is different job you can still see some uh, okay you are my friend okay then you come and join with my coaching staffs football is not like this no this is the biggest difference in india and the other countries the other countries they they learn uh, i'll give you an example some people they they travel see in the, how they run a football club in the other countries okay let me go because i want to learn how they can do that after that they they try to do it in their own club but 70% in india they are still learning as before we need a trophy trophy and trophy it cannot be like this no we can see big clubs with small people with small mentalities it is the problem in india india will face to if people talk about india to play a world cup it will not be happen it will not be happen india spend big money they are spending lots of money with isl okay the organization is superb the organization of isl is superb but they should do the same work in the youth development before the isl start they do lots of good things the preparation the facilities they give to the all the foreign coaches was not five to seven star but the other countries they do this in the youth development that why that's why after 10 years new good players come out come out in india there is still player in me playing those who played with me because there is no replacement mm -hmm. our example is sunil shetri we are expect to till when 40 45 because there is no another sunil shetri why because the youth is very poor sunil shetri came to play without playing any club before india was a lack to have one striker like like him they do the youth development in india what they do they they, they have they see some uh, young player with some good quality put senior team but it's not the way not everyone will play well like by chung by chung when he came to east bengal he was 15 years old with 16 he was scoring many many goals same with sunil the others we can you cannot play with two striker only that's why the situation in india it is still like before but now what they are doing they are spending big money but the way they do is very poor still De definitely and you know, like in in you also had uh, you spent time as a player and as as a coach in maldives in between so how how is football in india compared to maldives see maldives is very small country no it is very very small country but i'm telling you uh, it is it is it is more easy, it's a little bit more to to organize tournament because maldives is 300,000 people only in india is 1 billion you know but that is very very uh, small city but the organization is very good the the the, the players 
they have they have more facility they need but just bit ahead they need but because they, the country is small if Madrid was a big country I, I knew it, it could be little it could be difficult for Maldives as well but they have lots of good players over there they have lots of good players people love football over there and uh, I, I cannot say Maldives in India is more or less same because of the country the country is very small no you cannot because there, there is 10 teams only in the country so it is very difficult to to say you know there is uh, very little players in every thousand and thousand players Maldives there is lots of same players those who played in was coaching them was still there playing but talents they have lots of talents over there but we we cannot compare maldives to india because the country is very very small no? definitely like like you said like 10 teams like you have in maldives and i think you'll have more than 10 teams in the Cal uh, cfl calcutta football league itself you know like yeah, that's why that's what i'm saying kolkata live there is four division maldives i think there is one or two there's no more than 10 to 15 teams. It is very easy to handle. No? It's easy to make facilities in the club. You, you, you see, in my time, there is two grounds where everyone used to practice. Only in two grounds. But they had time to do that. Some clubs practice in the morning, some clubs in the afternoon, some clubs practice at, in the evening. Only took two grounds. And one stage. It is easy, no? Definitely. That's why we can compare Indian to Maldives. So how 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 is Calcutta? Because you have spent a lot of your time in Kolkata with East Bengal, Mohan Bagan, Mohammedan, even Bhawanipur later on. How is Kolkata for you? Kolkata for me is my second home. When I was in Kolkata, i I feel like I'm at home. When I was in Kolkata. Only I miss sometimes when my family is not with me. I miss my family only. But I know everywhere. Uh, I know everyone. Everyone's love me. Because uh, I cannot say that uh, each Bengal supporters like me. No, it is everyone. Even those who are not each Bengal supporter, Mon Bagan, Mohammedan, or some. Uh, people like my person. People like me as a person, not like a player. Of course, everyone knows me because I was a player. Uh, I have done very well in Kolkata. I, I am one of the, the the most successful foreigner who played in Kolkata. You know, uh, I won more than sixteen trophies playing in Kolkata teams. It's not so easy for, for it's not for everyone and always i used to say kolkata is not for everyone because of the pressure uh, wage uh, they run football if you if you are not strong by personality in kolkata you cannot do well but i love the city i love that atmosphere over there when the ground was full i i, I love that that you know when we played derbies I played derbies for both teams. No, have derby. Even, you know, I played football in Kolkata 15 years ago. I played derby in Kolkata 15 years ago. People are still uh, talking about me because when I used to play, I never lost to East Bengal. When I played for East Bengal, I never lost to Mohan Bagan. So people are still talking about, people call me the king of derby. Wherever I go, people used to love me, take picture, ask for autograph, you know. See, it's is amazing the way the people treat me in Kolkata. I love Kolkata. No? Sometimes I, 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 I have done some mistakes before. I got some offer to, to work in India, but outside Kolkata, then I had my second home no 
definitely and you know i wanted to ask you like like uh, you played for east bengal and then you moved to mohammedan i think and then to mohan bagan like did you like uh, know the rivalry was very big when you were moving or you thought okay it's a small derby sorry tell me one thing is your line was cut no i mean like did you know like the rivalry the derby was very big like it's like playing for santos and maybe going and playing for corinthians you know it's kind of like that like that rivalry so like how how was it for you like you know like moving and playing for a different team like how was the fans reaction towards you see to play the derby people say do oh, you are talking like uh, you know, i cannot talk like like people sometimes people say do oh, you are talking like because you are lucky no before i used to to play derbies here in brazil okay, i played many derbies over here i played with santos and corinthians corinthians and palmeiras palmeiras são paulo all big clubs so if i have done well do you think i will scared to play the derby in india of course not of course the there is a the fact there be was little bit tension but the fact is always the fact no i uh, you don't know how how the thing is going on but there is one advantage for me so i played the fast derby i went to to the uh, to to south lake stadium to see one derby so i saw the atmosphere over there it was almost one lack in the stadium because the fast derby i missed that no and uh, when i saw that situation oh my god i wanted to do that i wanted to do that so when i played the fast derby i was a little bit tension because that time people was talking about by chung by chung by chung because that time by chung just came back from okay he was there playing there huh? and uh, okay i have to stop this guy everyone about it. he's a hero but to to tell you okay uh confidence okay uh, i always used to say that confidence is you can get when you work hard if you work proper there is no better confidence than this i uh, i said like that if i before double I worked hard for that, and uh, after I saw the rivalry in Mohan Bagan in East Bengal, I started enjoying the first one. We won by two zero, and we won also by two by three zero, and that become easy for me. I always people people say, "Oh, you are talking." Then people said, "Okay, today I'm going for party." because the derby is is as a get party you no know? you don't have to think to fight you see it is not everywhere you can get one like people in the stadium uh yellow and red maroon so it was this is a wonderful look in the stadium so it's not for everyone i know i always say that i'm a blessed guy who has been played the derby definitely and i wanted to ask you like you know like you said you played you were never on the losing side like you never lost a derby when you were here how did you manage to do that like what was the secret yeah, as I, as I, as i said before uh, of course there is some particular things that till today i never disclosed to ever to, to anyone but uh, I'm not say luck, you know, but if you work hard, you know, uh, because for I physically, forty percent is psychology. You know. In India, it is different because of the tension, because of the pressure that the official put on the player. Indian player, they they, they started seventy percent. the psychology of the they are tired of the pressure that they put on them you know uh, 
always the rule the player used to get tired in 10 to 15 minutes from the second half. It was easy. It was things that I used to look for, you know, which particular area of the people was more tired. So I always used to say that I was a leader, you know, when I used to play for both clubs. I knew the, the, the way that we should go to attack because uh, it have a, but football is one part is psychology, another part is physical. But they used to get physically tired very soon because of the pressure the official put on them. I never have seen situation like that. When we go into the bars, the officials are talking with the players. Let them go. Let them relax. No, it is a big game. They should be interested in the on the game. But or more, most of the time, all the all the derby they uh, decided in the the second half. That's why I used to see. I used to always. I found the the best way, the best side. To, to, to try to score because I also I also used to score in the all the derbies. Is I'm, that is a lack. See, sometimes I uh, say let's go for the right side to attack this because this side I have to wait. So it is something like this. When uh, when you observe, I used to observe very much when the game was on. No? That's why I used to get. I was one of the most experienced players. Thirty years old, I was. Then the player was, some player was very young. But most of the the, the player that when we you play together in East Bengal, they are young. But we have a wonderful team. When I played for Mohan Bagan, half of the player who played with me in East Bengal was in Mohan Bagan with me. So the players. More or less same players, no? But situation is totally different. But it was wonderful play derby. People don't know how important was the derby. Like in what sense was it important? Like like you said, like how important was it? Because you had so many players playing, like you said, for both the teams. Like uh, like yes, my friend, you know the Kolkata derby. It is one of the most of famous. Be our. So, if you played one derby, you have to say thanks God because you know it is one particular thing. You know there is uh, billions of thousands of players who wanted to play this day. See how the atmosphere, which is going on, you know, so how your heart will beat. It is only those who were there know how to say that because that's why I always used to say it. now nowadays that derby is not as before we can we can see they are fighting for the derby derby is another tournament derby is one final inside of the tournament there is one final match there is one particular match of the league. But for those who wants to play the derby, look at this is the way I used to encourage my teammates. This is our last match of our life. Just remember how many players wants to wear this. You know, so I played here with big jersey. This experience that I the experience that I got playing the big derbies in Brazil. I took it with me to India. That's why I here when I was I was in Brazil. Derby is a, is a wonderful. When I played one derby with one lakh twenty seven oh my goodness. Then I used to say if I will not play football anymore, I'm happy. If I die tomorrow, I'm happy. I'm all over the world because it was wonderful. I played 
I have played memorable matches for East Bengal or even for Mohan Bagan. But the derby will be Definitely. And I wanted to ask you, like, we'll, uh, we have one last question in relation, in relation to the Derby. And uh, what is the most memorable moment for you that you had when you played the Derbies? Was the uh, <clears throat> my first season I played for East Bengal. We won everything. We won Kolkata League. We won IFA Shield. We won Durand Cup. We won I League. We won uh, Inter uh, Independence Cup. We won. We won everything. So it's been all well, uh, the team at that time, the season 2002-2003. Then I went back home for holidays, and uh, the season of 2003-2004 to start. But I was no sorry. The second match of Kolkata League was a derby. I was not there in India. I was in Brazil for some problem with my family here. There is some problem happening over here. I told them I need 10 days more to be here. Yeah, but next week will be the derby. So how it will be happening? No problem. I'm practicing here. For day before that it does not happen the derby was on sunday i reached in kolkata on saturday i reached on kolkata on saturday afternoon i reached around three o'clock in kolkata the derby was on next uh, next sunday 1 p.m so there is no time to practice there is no time for nothing so i went to my house just whole day sleeping, whole night sleeping. And uh, of course, I was not in the first 11 because I was so tired. But I told them I want to be in the bench. For sure, I want to be in the bench. And uh, the team was the, 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 the team was in the tunnel to go to the stadium. I was for the last, you know, because I was a the best situation. I was in the I was in the and I, 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 I have let everyone go into the stadium. Then I went for the last. When I come out and the people have seen me I was in the bench, everyone was talking about my name and shouting my name, Douglas, Douglas. It was one travel derby I will never forget. And what was happened to, to the story become much more better. Mahesh Gauli, one of our teammates, he got injury. He got injury in the first, the first half. I come to replace him. He's been all well losing by 1-0. Then I scored the goal as well. Then the game ended 1-1. It was the memorable derby of my life, 2003 to 2004. The match ended drill. I scored one goal, and that day I for more than 42 hours because I missed my flight from South Africa. And I missed that. I went to Nairobi. From Nairobi, I went to another country. Then I I came back. I I, I went to India. It was a very long journey. Then after that, there is a derby. Then I came, the people, all the people shouting, talking my name. And after that, I come in the place of Mahesh Gauli. Then I qualify. The day of my life. One of the most of wonderful day of my life. Definitely. And you like, uh, we'll move on from that. And, and we have like last few questions. And as a player, which coach had the most influence on you? Indian coach all all all, all over all the over all over the world. Yeah, there is one coach, you no, know, who I work with. His name is Louis. Love the way he works. Not long because he used to. Very, he is a very hard worker. But 
the way he talks with the players, no, the way he talks with his players, uh, he, you know, he, he if they, they I, I will give you an example. If one player give you only five, he can take seven from this player, no. Yeah, we have one word in Brazil. He can he can take milk from inside one stone. You you got my point? Yeah, yeah, I got your point. He make he, he make one uh, like a uh, one single player played. Like a super by king because in uh, how you them you know it is the, the this is the most of important thing in football the psychology of how you treat your player if you have to treat your player as your son as the part of uh, you don't take from him so much the player can work for you that's why I always used to talk about this man Luis Carlos. He is one of the most of important coaches of my life. Definitely. I had so many coaches, but this... yeah, please say. Yeah, you're saying something. Hello, Douglas. Yeah. No, no. This guy was the most of important coach of my life because of these things. No. Definitely. And I wanted to ask you, like, he's he was important for you because you said like how he could take out more from players. Than they were capable of doing, and you know, like now you are a coach. You have been a coach for some time. How how is coaching for you? See, uh, the way the way I used to work as a coach, I used to talk with my players. You guys have to be like me. My team has to to has my face. I'm a fighter. Even if small them that have to fight with them because nowadays football if you are a small team if you are if you are not the, the 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 best team but if you fight well if you keep your position if you what you can you can do some you can surprise the opponent team we can see it all over the world right now before uh, we used to see small uh, play with big up they already they, they already know they will lose by two three it is different if you keep well your position if you do whatever your coach you wanted because now they that the tactic if you keep your position if you do what your coach that everything can do well and you have to fight my team have trained us to play. We have to work hard if you do want to do that. If you want, because I am a young coach. I was a big player. Okay. I'm talking about the big because I was a sex player in India. I was a very successful. That is the best, the, the best word to say. Not a big player. I'm a very successful. I was a very. I want to be the coach in the same way but for that i need to work same or more because to be a coach is very difficult to work to, to play football it's so easy to work a, as a coach my friend you have to love football more than you to love play when you are a coach you work in the morning you work in the afternoon you work in the evening you don't sometimes you don't have time to sleep because you have to talk you have to take care about sometimes you have to solve sometimes you have to sort out the problem with four players the team have to look like me my team have to look like me the way i used to like to play I used to treat my play as my son, or everyone as my son. Of course, I'm not too old. I used to talk with them. But let's be on with each other. Difficult. So, different 
that you know uh, sometime of course it's normal not that sometimes there is people without character with a bad character but we have to manage how to work with them what to do there is lots of big players all over the world but by character is a big character zero by character there is zero bad person but the coach has to clear they are good as a person they are zero but you don't need him as a person you, you need him as a player you understand but you know you have to know how you to manage them that's why it is very hard job to do you have to love football as i'm a football lover i work 24 hours per day even now i'm uh, now i'm without club i i will watch three four matches per day even some matches i watch two three times because from that particular match i wanted something to me so because i have to be ready any times i will get the club to work in football every day there is new thing come out I have to be ready, but otherwise, someone come in front of me and take my place. This is the way that I look football as a coach. Definitely, and you know, like we'll wrap it up with one final question. And uh, do you have any piece of advice for young players? See, they have to work hard. They have to be a person the first thing they have to be like a good person because of course sometimes uh, some coaches they first they look for the how the player uh, they are as a person and uh, player who do not respect their parents they will not respect they cannot be in the group that's why i used to say respect your mother and your fathers and your parents and your families otherwise you will not respect the people all over the world be a human being the main thing because football for the young guys i used to say nobody knows even they will become a professional player or not but you have to study you have to respect your father and mother as a god because you are in the world because of them and work hard because you don't know suppose that if you break your leg if some you stop play football what will do without study some play stop play football with 16 17 years old but after that they never went to school so what they will do they will sell vegetable in the road that's why the young guys have study and play football study and play football and be a good human being otherwise you never be a good person this is my that is this is my opinion then i used to talk with the players the, the young player I uh, used to meet in India, not only in India but everywhere in the world. Definitely, and you like on that note, Douglas. Thank you so much for talking to me. It's almost close to an hour that you spoke to me, and I hope to see you in East Bengal as a coach, maybe in the future in maybe in ISL. You know, like hope to see you in uh, India someday. And no, uh, as I used to say, I am not the the experienced coach yet to coach East Bengal in ISL. That's why I used to say this Bengal should get one. Better coach than they have got right now. They should get one experienced coach for the city because this Bengal is and they are in the situation that they are near to almost twenty years without trophy. They should have hired one experienced coaches. No, not one ex famous footballer that they have hired. No? So what do anyway, you, like? What do you think of this Bengal? Like, what will happen to them this season? Can they challenge for the ISL title or they cannot? No, they will see. They will fight. they will fight yeah, of course they are lucky because this year there is no relegation 
you know. And uh, the coach that they hired, they are, he's not up to the mark. He had to be a coach on ISL team. And East Bengal, he's in the porch right now. They should have hired one big coach, one experienced coach, who are, who already work in the big clubs all over the world, uh, from any country, all of, from all over the world, or one coach who are the ASL. This is my opinion. And we are seeing the result right now. I told this four months ago, take one experienced coach, don't take one ex-footballer, because I knew it will be happen. It's Bengal is not in the position so like for public to be one of the biggest clubs all over the world. They don't need the follower to be a... You understand? This is the biggest mistake it's Bengal have done this season. But I'm still supporting them. So, but it can happen that ATK Monbogan might win it this year. They look the most strongest. They just won, I think, against uh, what is that? Yeah, I saw the match. I knew. I knew we will lose the match. And see, the, the coach, he can be a big coach. I'm not saying he's a bad coach, but first, derby, first game of his life in India, he's going to play a derby. Why are you going to play again one team who are playing together almost three years? The, the court almost same, Abbas. The players know each other. Why are you going to play, you go to face to face them? Play defensive match, play for one ball. You know, you cannot go to attack ATK like any club. This is on derby. He don't know what is the meaning of derby. When he one of each other club play for, lose, like East Bengal lose to Mon Bagan or Mon Bagan lose to East Bengal, he don't know what the mean of that. This is the biggest mistake because the management also have got the, there is a part of the, the management. Where is the coaching have to tell the coach? But anyway, let's hope for the best. And hopefully, and uh, hope to uh, like you know, like uh, have you on the show again someday. Hope to talk to you soon again. You know, like probably about East Bengal if they qualify for the final somehow, like which does not look like. But hopefully, if they qualify, and hope to see you again in India someday soon. You know, like after in, yeah, in coaching. Okay, you. Thank you so much. You take care, and I love everyone. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, Douglas. Till the next time. Take care. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.